Hello everyone. Today we are going to do something interest. So we're going to embed some payload into the exe file. So if someone run that exe file, then payload will execute and we will get the reverse shell from that victim PC to our listening PC. So for in order to do that, we need to use some sort of tool. Today I'm using the tool called Shelter. So Shelter is highly developed open source platform. So you can simply download it from Kali.org tools shelter. So currently this package is we can use only for the 32 bit applications. So I will show you how we can use the 32 bit exe file and embed the payload into that file and how we can execute that. So let's get started. I will minimize this and I will start the application. So you can install the application as per the instruction of the Kali original website. You need to install these steps, these dependencies. Then after that, you can execute the command. sudo shelter. So once you type that, shelter will start. I will increase the size for you. Okay, here we have big shelter. So now it's asking auto mode, manual mode, or hybrid mode. In this case, I'm going to use auto mode. Just type A and press enter, and it will ask the target. So target means the what is your exe file, which we need to embed the payload. So for that, I'm going to use putty exe. You can use any exe file. I'm going to use putty, which is easier to demonstrate. So when you Google it, like download putty and go to download putty. In here, I'm going to download 32-bit application. Just or else you can use this one. This is portable version. This is installed version. So I'm going to use portable version. Just click here and save my putty. The download folder. I already have downloaded one. I will delete that. And you can rename this as like usual. Rename it. Okay. Now we have downloaded the putty and we need to give this path into the our target path so slash home slash Kali slash downloads and putty dot exe this is the our exe file which we need to embed the payload hit enter will take a little time it is doing the um, binaries and doing some execution in the background so we just have to wait so this is my windows 10 pc so i do have access from this pc to kali linux because both are in same network so as you can see 10 hundred hundred is this machine and i can ping my kali PC like this okay so which means we do have connectivity now what I'm going to do is copy my embedded exe file into my Windows 10 then after that I'm going to execute that file from Windows 10 then I will get the reverse shell to the um, Kali machine that's the idea so until this complete, I'm going to take another console and I'm going to start Python server. Then I can access the file in the Kali server from the Windows 10 PC. Python 3 HTTP server, hit enter and you can open the browser and type the Kali Linux IP address including this port number. You can use any port number. In this case, I'm 
using the default port number which is more easier for me and port number there you are so yep now the shelter has done its binary thing and it is asking to enable the shell mode so we're gonna hit yes and now it's showing like meta pretest like reverse shell payload so which sort of which type of reverse shell do you want to use in this example i'm going to use the um, reverse tcp so it is asking use listed payload or custom so i'm going to use the listed payload which means i'm going to select the l option if you want to use custom payload you can select c so in this case i'm press i'm typing l and press enter so select payload by index now it is asking which number which index number so like i said i'm gonna use reverse tcp so number one and press enter okay now it's asking l host l host means listening pc which means our kali linux ip address so it is 10 hundred 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 this is my l host and it is asking l port which is listening port you can give any port number port 80 port 4000 port 100 port 1234 i'm gonna use 444 which is more easier and press enter then it will embed the payload into that exe file so we don't have to do anything this is fully automated process we just have to wait and see so it is it will include the payload into the same exe which we were download in the past so just take a little time we can see so in the meantime as you can see i have access to the kali box from the web browser so we are just waiting to finish this one okay it's finished so it's all right now you just have to press enter okay all good so this is the downloaded exe now it is included the malicious payload but you can't see any different so in here what i'm gonna do is for the demonstration purposes i'm gonna turn off the virus protection from here just real-time protection just power it off and i'm going to copy this p putty exe to this computer this virtual machine so go to the downloads and put it on exe and i can keep that okay it's saved so before we execute this one from here we need to enable the listener from the kali linux machine for that i'm using the metasploit framework sudo msf console and i'm gonna set the um, listener okay use exploit multi handler set payload windows Printer, reverse TCP and we're gonna set L host in hundred 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 set L port which is listening port like we set in the um, shelter and we need to exploit this okay we're pretty much done with this now what we have to do is execute the putty.exe from this PC then we will get the reverse shell to this terminal. So this is my victim PC. I'm gonna double click and execute. It is asking we are hit run anyway. Uh, boom. Like you can see we got the reverse shell. So in the windows 10 pc you can't see any difference like 
user don't know what's going on behind the program it's already given us to the reverse shell but user can use this like usual no error message nothing so what we can do here we can do anything like if we access the shell we have access to that pc we can see who am i like usual if you want to exit from this one just press ctrl c and press yes and you again in the meta operator if you want to take a screenshot you can simply type screenshot and the screenshot will save to this directory you can simply open this one when you go to the directory kali we'll go to the file system first yep and go to the um oh my bad this computer file system home kali and you can see the screenshot see the same thing interesting huh so this is how we can embed the payload into the exe file and execute and after that get the reverse shell so you can test this one in your own environment like i did so you can make some virtual machines and test your environment this is just educational purpose only we will meet from next video cool stuff like this thank you for watching stay tuned